Hi guys, you're on Varian24.com and today we will disassemble the smartphone Xiaomi 12T. At the very beginning we need to remove the card tray. For this we take a special tool, insert it into the hole and push out the tray for two SIM cards. After that we need to heat the surface of the back cover to a temperature about 65-70 Celsius degree or 160 degree Fahrenheit. For this we use a heating mat, you can use a hair dryer. And after 6 or 8 minutes we can move on to disassembly. To detach the back cover we will use a plastic film. This is the protective film from the new display. We insert it into the hole between the middle cover and the back cover. Choose a corner where we can slip the film under the back cover. Push it through and run it lengthwise. We can additionally use isopropyl alcohol to dry the adhesive base. We also need to be careful in the area of the cameras and not to put the tool too deep so as not to damage the lenses. And we open up the back cover. We only have a gasket on the cover. Ok, we move on to unscrewing the screws. We use a 1.5mm Phillips screwdriver or hash 3 The screws might be different and so we recommend placing them on a special surface in an easy to remember order for assembly. After unscrewing the screws, we need to remove the cover that hides the battery connectors. The cover has a recess on the edge, which we can pry to detach it. There are antenna lines on the cover. And we can disconnect the two battery connectors. It's better to use non-metal tool. In our case, it is tweezers with the ceramic tips. After that, we move on to unscrewing the screws at the bottom. We use the same screwdriver. I would like to pay attention to the fact that we managed to remove the warranty stickers without damage. That is not supposed to happen, but sometimes it does. And we move on to detaching the core with a speaker. Just in case, we look at the location of the cables and carefully pry by the edges to detach the cover. It is necessary to choose the right place and not to damage the cables. Our cover is held in the area of the cable branching. So we need to carefully hook it in this place. And we disconnect the connectors on the subboard and motherboard and remove the interboard cable. Then we disconnect the coaxial cable connector on the small board and remove the board itself. This board is most likely responsible for 5G antennas. And we disconnect the display connector, the second coaxial cable connector and the fingerprint sensor connector. Then we pry up the subboard by the edge. 
it is slightly recessed into the display frame and pull it out. On the subboard we have the charging port, microphone. On the inside we have a connector for cards and a hole for the microphone. And the vibration motor and fingerprint sensor remain in the display frame. Ok, move on to disconnecting the two coaxial cables on the motherboard and release the cables from their securing fasteners. Then we can detach the front camera. The camera is traditionally taped to the shield on the motherboard with a heat dissipating foil. All cameras on this phone are taped, so we need to be careful. And we can detach the rear cameras. The large camera is located in a small box with a copper plating on the bottom. We can take it out as well. If there is a heat dissipating foil on the cameras, it is better to keep it undamaged for reassembly. The small cameras are glued to the motherboard too. And we can detach the motherboard, find a convenient place where we can hook, pry it, lift and remove the motherboard. On the back side we have thermal paste. In the display frame we have the speaker. Ok, we move on to removing the battery. We need to read on the brown tabs A and B for which one we need to pull. But we must unwrap all of them, so that they don't prevent us from detaching the battery and don't hold it. And as it becomes clear from the description, we have to pull the white tab A. With one hand we hold the display frame and with the other hand we carefully pull up the tab with the letter A, detaching the battery. And as we can see, the battery is also held on the transparent protective coating that protects the display frame. So, this is the end of our disassembly, thank you for watching and see you around, or in the next video. Ok guys, now we're done, thank you for watching, if you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, or read our articles on our website. Take care of yourself and until the next video.